Hope all you swabbies are still awake. Late Night Mega here. And we are able to sail abroad. Uh, now that we have Lorelei's Harp and we've done you know, pretty much everything in there. I mean, we haven't gone back to Galapagos. I'm sure the game will make us do that at some point. I want to get our characters back. Which means heading towards Arborea. Even though I'm kind of stopped at the strand, because I was, I'll be honest, I was kind of expecting a fight with Eli uh, Elizaran here, or, you know, meeting some of the mermaids, but there's nothing here. So we shall depart. Yeah, I'm sure we'll have to fight him again. Well, technically we didn't really fight him yet, not in an official battle. But uh, I'm sure we're going to have to contend with him at some point. All right, so we're just going to head... I'm just going to go where the game wants me to go right now. That's not where the game wants me to go right now. I'm going to go where the game wants me to go, which is to the Pillar of Light north of Sniffleheim. So we can get into Sniffleheim, because there's a weird thing on the map at Sniffleheim. I already know what it is. In fact, uh, past game planning has already solved it. It'll be... it'll take a few episodes. But that is what we will be doing next. Ouch. Um, oh, and as you can see, the damage output by Jace and Jade, you know, it, it, it's satisfying to me. Uh, Jade being amazing as she is, especially with her increased critical hit chance. And, um... I could be using the Harvest Moon. Yeah, why don't we do that? These guys are annoying me. <laughs> that was such a cool animation. I love it. Ah, not bad at all. So yeah, we'll see what's going on with Sniffleheim here. You can see there's something blocking the path. Oh, we triggered cutscene. Hmm. I'm sure that wasn't here before. Well, it looks like we won't be sailing that way anytime soon. Yeah, but we got to get to Sniffleheim well, so we can, because that's the path that takes us to Arborea. You can't find out how to get old Mordigan walk for. Wait, there's that pillar of light in the sea north of Sniffleheim, eh? Yeah, that's right. I remember finding thought, that. Uh, but maybe that's why I kind of spoiled us. It's not too far off after all. Uh, but remember, there was that pillar of light north of Sniffleheim that just teleported us, you know, next to Sniffleheim, and I was like. What is the purpose of this? Because we can just, you know, sail into that area. But now there is a purpose to it, because we can't just sail into that area. We actually have to have Lorelei's Harp. But last I checked, Lorelei's Harp wasn't working. It wasn't working when we tried to go to Nautica to fight Elizaran. So, we'll see. Hi, new enemies. Oh, we've got the vicious... Vicious Otter guy who's somehow still alive after taking 313 damage. He's not alive by much, though. Uh, Silvando can take those, too. Um. That's rude. We gotta finish the Otter thing before he does something. There we go. All right, we're attacking the one that has captured Jade. Lightning, okay, that wasn't super impressive. And with that, Jade is free. I'm sure the programmers probably thought of this situation and made it so that this wouldn't you wouldn't ever get a battle with four of those things at once. But I just wonder what would happen if you had a battle with four at once and they trapped all of your people in cages. 
Like, what, would it just be like an instant game over, or... Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, it's probably not possible. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a battle with more than two of those things at once. Now our double is in those uh, vicious sea otter things. You know, we're just going to do this. Uh, that's not okay. That's also not okay. I wish she was close to being dead. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the... do the hustle! Also, with that uh, maiden dead, um, Jade snapped out of being mesmerized by her. Well, that was weak. That was rude. Who said you could do that? Well, how's this thing not dead yet? There we go. Another day, another victory. All right. There's the pillar of light. Uh, cutscene. Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, it's storming again. Ooh, a lizard in his back. The sweet aroma of fresh flesh. Yep. Yeah, uh, it ain't your realm anymore. We're taking it back. So we need to get warm. You were lucky to slip the hook where last we met. You will not be so fortunate this time. In the name of my lord and master, I shall send your broken bodies to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, again with that glow. Well, this is not looking good. If Pearly Gates can he do the trick, I, I don't very well know what can. Uh, Jace remembers something. The power of the luminary. Let your light shine. Yeah, take that. That's the stuff, laddie. Without that barrier, we should be able to land a floor, too. Oh, yeah, it is on now. All right, here we go. Boss battle engage. I guess this is where we're fighting Elizarin. I figured this would be coming up soon. Let's try this revamp ability. And let's get, um... No, this is not what I'm looking for. Ooh, oh, there it is, it's a spell. Need a little... 
and you... We'll go Falcon Slash. Oh, yeah, I love that damage output. Um, yeah, we'll get our Right as Rain HP regeneration going. I'm sure we'll need it. Ouch. Oh, come on, don't rock the boat. Oh, that actually uh, stunned Jace and Silvando. That's not nice either. Um, I guess what you can do is just, uh... I wonder if that fireball thing was a breath attack, so that's why I'm going for insulate here. It gives us protection... Well, not, not necessarily protection. It helps reduce some of the damage from breath attacks. That is your decelerate. I do not approve of that either. Well, Silvando can fix that. And we actually poisoned a lizard. Huh, go figure. Well, that should help us wear him down, except uh, poison is crap. At least in this game. You'll see when a lizard gets a turn. Okay, yeah, you need to use... Yeah, you gotta, you gotta buff our speed again. Return our speed back to normal for most of us. Yeah, it did five points of damage. That is pathetic. And Jace needs a healing. Fortunately, we have Hustle Dance for that. And I went for the healing with Silvando, so that way Rab can be uh, freed up to use... Nice critical hit. To use uh, some of his offensive spells, hopefully. Which, again, this is why I'm thinking of bringing back Serena. Oh, he's actually pretty weak to dark. Uh, which is why I'm thinking of bringing back Serena. Nice, the spike armor is working. Uh, over Silvando. I don't like this red mist crap. This <laughs> poisoned anew. <laughs> well, with that, we should probably heal up Jace. Or we, we, we can pump Jade's attack. Jace is doing, you know, almost 300 damage with uh, Oomphal. Very nice. Yet. Three damage, that is pathetic. This is why I tend to avoid using status effects for the most part, uh, especially in Square Enix RPGs. And especially Poison. It's it's like the worst status you can give. You could try to use. Uh, but it's just a bonus on Jade's Claws, so it's, it's not like I spent a turn attempting to poison him without doing anything else. So yeah, I would rather have Serena here so that uh, Rab can just be a backup healer instead of both Solando and Rab kind of functioning as uh, main healers. We have to do a lot of healing in this battle. Oh good, the red mist, here, mist is gone. Though I suppose uh, Jace could also technically be a backup dealer, but I want him as a damage dealer with Falcon Slash and, and such. I'll fix agility again. 
And yeah, we gotta keep. Oh, his uh, health is getting low. Well, good. And that's what his damage output looks like without the uh, oomphle boost. Which really just kind of makes me want to keep Silvando. But Silvando's low MP uh, is starting to become troublesome and lack of MP recovery. And I don't know how much I can actually do about that. Yeah, see, once again, I'd rather be using Grab to do more offensive things, but I'm, I'm not able to do that with this party structure. Um, I don't need to do any of that right now. Yeah, that's the best thing we can do. Oh, that's not good. Didn't I just fix that? Yeah, we'll have to fix that again. Oh, another nice critical hit. Oh, this is why I love the damage out for the Jade. She's not even revamped up. Finally, we get to a turn where we're not really hurt, so I can use um, I can use Zamel again with Rab. Oh, he's getting really low on HP. It shouldn't be long now. Uh oh. That really didn't do more damage than what he was doing earlier. In Battle. That's gotta be it. That's that's not it. Okay, then uh, just keep going. I'm not normally one to try and go like for last ditch efforts and and sacrifice all my other strategy just to push through the last points of damage. No, I'm I'm more the type that's going to keep uh, keep going for. Oh, this would be a very fitting way to end this uh, boss fight. Solar Flare! I've just had too many times where... Yeah. Awesome. I've just had too many times where I had... Uh, I tried Score using a supportive guys. character... Uh, or instead of healing a character, went for an offensive move, move thinking I could push through the last few points of damage, and then ended up not killing the boss, and then the boss does an attack and kills someone, and hey, we end up not having a good time. So, yeah, I, I always tend to play more cautiously. Uh, what sorts of stuff can we get now? We're going this way, aren't we? Uh, we are going this way. We get MP up. Pep up, uh, power up, and that'll get us to that strength boost. Yeah, I guess that's fine. And we'll just, yeah, we'll just go along the ground there, and and then we'll loop back up to that other strength boost. I don't really care for getting Zap right now. Well, I'll probably pick it up just to get that other secret hidden panel thing. Yeah, for Jace, we're just focusing on his Luminary Tree skills. Um, yeah, we're going to go for that. Yeah, we don't have enough skill points. Well, we'll work on that. And Eric there, he's got a lot of skill points to use. You figured it out, didn't ya? Could you be the luminary 
Yes. Um, Mordigan's already kind of aware of this, given the events we had at, uh, Angry La. I mean, granted, we were in a different, uh, dimension at that point. Um, so maybe he didn't think we were really alive? I don't know, but Mordigan doesn't seem like that dumb of a villain. So yeah, I think he already knows that. But I do love the interaction there between <laughs> Alizarin we and Mordigan. You, you oversized sea slug. Think you're a match for the luminary. And I, I keep, again, I keep pal. bringing this up, but uh, comparing it to right. Final Fantasy VI because that's kind on. of the obvious we comparison here. We need to get a good hiding before any more beasties like that one come a growling. It is very nice but to first, see the to spectral sentinels and Mordigan, even if they're just having alive. little conversations so like that attack. with each other. That Take is all I head. really needed from Final Fantasy VI. Mm. That's that's where Final Fantasy VI in the second half of the game is lacking. And I, I just really appreciate Dragon Quest XI doing this right. I like it. Alrighty. Um, let's go to the Viking Cave first. Or not. I mean, we don't have to. It's locked off for some strange reason. Okay, we'll go to Sniffleheim. Let me guess, we're going to have to fix their problems again. What's going on? My heart's beating like crazy. Ugh. And Eric is still kind of in a slump. Yeah, I hate seeing him like that. The fall of Yggdrasil has changed everything. It's more than likely Sniffleheim didn't escape unscathed. Which is why I think we'd better check in on Queen Frisabel before we head off to Arboria. That all right with you? Yes, of course. Right. We're away to the castle to see the Queen. While we're at it, why don't you lot take a look around town and make sure everything's okay? Um, Eric? What's the matter, Eric? You look like you've seen a ghost, lad. It's nothing. I love I'm Rab's sorry. accent, by the way. You want us to take a look around town, right? I I'm all over it. Uh, on second thoughts, you're coming with us. You're in no fit state to be wandering around on your own. Because it's not like he could I'm wander sorry. around town with, I don't mean to be you know, any of the other characters that we're Come sending around now, town. Daddy. This isn't like you. Chin up, eh? The stroll to the castle will do you the power of good. Yeah, Rap's got a fairly nice Scottish accent. Not so Scottish that you can't really understand what he's saying. That does happen sometimes. Other people always say that I have accents when they're when they're hearing from like some part of the country where I'm not, whereas I I don't view myself as really having an accent, but uh, apparently I do. Uh, okay, so this town is, is weird because people are all locking their doors and not letting us in. So, yeah, you know what, we're just forget trying to explore, we'll just go to the castle. I just wanted to see what their inventory was going to be like. But no. 
No, we can't do that. So the Queen Frizabel, she'll tell us what's going on. And we're gonna end up going a little bit over over time. I know we've kind of been doing that a lot lately. I'm I'm not trying to make a habit of going over the 30 minute mark. Um, so I'm I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to keep the episode. I think we're still gonna have another episode or two that goes a little over. But, Cheer up, uh, your Majesty! It might never happen. It happens due to What's cutscenes. What's you looking so glum? <gasps> Lord Rab, and your friends too. I am so happy to see you safe and well. Aye, the feeling's very much mutual. A lot's happened since last we met. Indeed. Yggdrasil has fallen. The world has been covered in darkness. Gold fever ravages my kingdom. Gold fever? But we survived. What, are they having a gold rush? So lucky. What's that now? Gold fever? Is there something going on around these parts we should know about? There is. It all began a few weeks ago, you see. A strange disease started to spread across Sniffelheim. It affects people, animals, even plants. Anyone or anything that catches it turns entirely to gold. Huh. To gold? Wait, where's Crystalinda? We don't know what causes it, or how to cure it, so every one of my poor subjects lives in fear of being struck down next. I tried to send for help, but every route out of the kingdom is blocked by great golden obstacles. We are completely cut off. Huh. My dear friend Kristalinda was studying the illness to try to find a cure. But in their panic, my people suspected her of spreading it instead. For her own safety, I was forced to lock her away in the dungeons. Because I have tried you can't to tell my subjects she's yeah. innocent, but they simply will not listen. Okay. They are blinded by fear. This awful disease has turned my kingdom upside down. There, there, your majesty. Danny looks a crestfallen. We'll get to the bottom of this for you. Oh, thank you. You are always so very kind to me. I will let everybody in the city know that you are here to help, and that they must help you in turn. Take care, so they're gonna let me friends. go shopping. Hmm. And also you're going to somehow tell them before we gold. get out of the castle even though you're not My gonna gold. move from your throne. Interesting powers you have. And Eric, I don't know because of his amnesia, or what it is, or if he really has some sort of connection to this. Don't know. But, uh, oh, the other thing is I wanted to run out here to go to the save. Um, and I just wanted to make sure we could get out there and go to the save without triggering another cutscene. But when you leave the castle, you're going to trigger another cutscene. Thus, we have more than a 30-minute episode. I could have ended it off, uh back there at the the chamber but i needed to uh go save the game when i was doing this particular recording um this is the last part of whatever session recording session i was on gameplay recording session and so uh, i'm just like okay i just gotta get to a save and then i'm i'm done right? for the whenever i was recording not exactly you see the queen seemed awful sad mm. Hello there, madam. Do you have a minute to talk to us? We'd like to ask you a few questions. Do I have a minute, he asks. How can I know when every second might be my last? 
You do well to leave this place before you turn to gold too. Well, we're here to fix that problem. <gasps> Wait, I know you. You're that boy, Eric. You, you know me? Well, I mean, we were here before, oh, but... don't be silly. Everyone in Sniffleheim knows you. You're the... Uh-oh. Oh, no! This can't be happening! Oh. What's the matter, dear? Uh, are you okay? It's... It's... Got me... <gasps> and now she's a gold statue. I take it this is a case of gold fever. It's horrible. <sighs> Uh, Eric, does it have you too? Uh, Eric, honey, are you okay? Oh, tell me where it hurts. Eric? Huh? I heard a commotion and came running. I never thought that I would find you here. Do you know our friend, Father? He's an old pal of ours, but we lost him after the fall. And the fear he's taken a blow to the head somewhere along the way. He doesn't remember a thing about his life before then. Oh, my poor child. Perhaps I can help to jog your friend's memory. Come to the church by the city gates, and I will tell you what I know of his past. Darn it, if I go there, he's gonna do more cutscenes instead of saving the game. <laughs> So, I'm going to have to teleport out of here, make sure I can teleport out of here, and then I'll save the game, and I will see you next time.